Skip counting lets you count by multiples of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or even more. It's a great way to learn to multiply numbers together. Let's give it a try. Let's do skip counting by eights. It means you only count every eighth number. Watch me do it. You'll hear me bounce eight times, but I only count every eighth number I land on. Eight. Sixteen. Forty-eight. Let's do it again. This time, I'll count the bounces, and you count the number I land on after the eighth bounce. Remember to keep silent after the first seven bounces, because we're skipping those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. You can do skip counting yourself with a pen and a piece of paper. You can draw arrows to represent the bounces and circle every eighth number. Let's use skip counting by eights to count the number of balloons that cross the dotted line. Remember only to call out the number of every eighth balloon that crosses the line. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Thirty-two. Forty. Forty-eight, fifty-six, sixty-four, seventy-two, eighty. Let's do it one more time without numbers on the balloons. Count them off in groups of eight as they cross the dotted line. Eight. 
16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. If you can do skip counting, it makes learning the times tables easier. Skip counting by eights and the eight times table both involve counting in multiples of eight. Eight times one is eight. Eight times two is sixteen. Eight times three is twenty-four. Eight times four is thirty-two. Eight times five is forty. Eight times six is forty-eight. Eight times seven is fifty-six. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Eight times nine is seventy-two. Eight times ten is eighty. Eight times eleven is eighty-eight. Eight times twelve is ninety-six. <laughs>